Hey, Aaron here. Thanks for watching Help Me DIY again. I have my Boxster back and again, the top is not opening. Now I did a detailed kind of troubleshooting guide on the tops of these. So if you haven't seen that, check this link out if you're interested in different reasons why a top might not open. But I think mine is finally that little switch in the top needs to be replaced. In the last video, I did some little soldering, messed around with it and it temporarily fixed it but I think it's finally gone, so I'm gonna do a video on how to replace that. Okay, so the switch we wanna replace is inside this little thing that this thing presses against. So we wanna start by taking off these little alien eyeballs. Uh, mine are just <laughs> barely on there. Just take a little flathead screwdriver and they will pop right off. And then you'll see two T25s. There's uh, one right here on this side and one over on the other side. So I just take a little T25 and remove them both. Yeah. All right, so that's one. Two. All right, now this little thing will come down. You can just kind of rotate it forward. So you can get to the back of it because there are some wires that are attached that we have to remove. Right here you can see this piece is the switch itself. And the piece back on the other side is our light. So if you ever need to replace the bulb, that's where you do it. All right, so that one just pulls out. I think this one does the same. This slides out. Now we can take this to the workbench and get a better look at it. So here's a new one, comes in a little bitty box with a big price tag. And that's the one we gotta get out, so. All right, so here is a new one compared to the old. So in my uh, previous video, I messed around with the soldering here, just reheating it up and moving it around. And I got it to temporarily work, but I think it is finally failed so we're just gonna go ahead and replace this now, if I remember correctly these little uh, metallic looks like buttons are all that is holding this on so I'm just gonna get a little screwdriver and pry those off try not to use them There's one, that's what it looks like. All right, got our buttons out. Our old switch. Let's drop our new one back on there. This one, one of the little pin kind of things is bent quite a bit so I'm just gonna kind of reshape it first there we go oh yes small needle nose pliers that's what I used before so let's do that again just kind of put it on each side Press this thing back in. There we go. I heard it snap down a little bit. Nice and pressed down. All right, you want those all the way on there because that's what actually secures this. So now it does not rock at all when I do it. And you should be able to press the little thing in here. You see this little arm lift up to press that little orange button. I'll put a little link to this guy in the description of this video so you can find it easily. All right, I'm just gonna put it back on, reattach those two cables, the two more bolts, and we'll test it out. All right, guys, I'm taking you on a little learning adventure with me. Uh, after replacing that, I finally got the top working again. But uh, after investigating the weird crunchy noises over here, 
I was able to determine that so this rod right here with the red thing at the end is supposed to be attached up there with the snapped off red end. And uh, so this part here is what they call the transmission on the left side. So I've seen pictures of it, but it's really hard to tell where that stuff is from a picture. But from the video, you can see it's against the outside wall here. So I think how this works is right here in the middle, you have the motor for it. And this I see in the diagram, it's a little micro switch that uh, tells your car when the clam lid is closed all the way so that you'll turn off the little light. Um, and this cover right here just covers the motor and you just pull it straight away from the back of the car to unclip it. Gently. And then it lifts up over here. So you can see these two clips are what's holding it in. And these two sets are broken off. So that's why mine was a little loose over there. But if you need to get to the motor, that's where it is. If you need to replace that micro switch, that's where that is. And you can see it has a cable coming out of each end. And the cable is uh, what is going to turn the transmission back there. So you can see the one on the right and the one on the left look the same. All right, sorry guys, I started getting really off topic there, but uh, I learned a lot about the innards of the top today. So I'm gonna have another video on that coming up soon. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.